Today's um on Kaiju today's on Kaiju Wars is between the Skull Crawler and John Q. Let's get into it. The Skull Crawler. The Skull Crawler is from the King Kong series and they live on Skull Island. Yeah, that's it. They can be uh, skull crawlers can be up to around a hundred to a hundred no they can be up to a hundred feet tall, be on be up to around hundred and ninety four feet long and weigh up to a hundred tons. What about John Q, this cursed eye looking monster motherfucker right here? Well he's during the Ultraman series. No surprise there. They can John Q it's 180 feet tall and is around 55,000 tons. Weighs around tons. Okay. Weapons. Whoa. What are what are the skull crawler's weapons? Well, the skull crawler has a giant chameleon-like tongue, so he can wrap around his opponents and constrict them. He has jaws, claws, tail whip. He can grab with his tail and throw his opponents. They can burn. The squirrel crawlers can burrow underground. They're surprisingly fast. They can climb really good. And yeah, that's it. Now, what about this the Gon Q? Well, Gon Q can travel to different dimensions. He has a regular physiology. He has an absorption. He can telekinesis. Teleportation, dream invasion. So basically, this guy is an asshole. John Q is an asshole. He just he just man- manipulates and just messes up his messes up people. Okay, mineral absorption and wormhole. But basically, he can just whack with his arms and just headbutt them and kick them. So yeah, there's that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. <coughs> so, how would they defeat each other? Well, the skull crawler just has to aim for the eyes a lot, and it will just gut out the gut out its freaking brains and everything. John Q just has to send them to another dimension, or just whack them a lot and just mess up with his mind. Yeah. Okay, fight. Ding, ding, ding. John Q and the skull crawler meet. They. They both are on the island of Trunk. This this whole thing is tr- is called Trunk Island. Yeah, images. Anyways, both are on Trunk Island, and the skull crawler rides on Gon Q. Gon Q releases a horrifying, horrifying roar. A very horrifying roar, which scares the fuck out of the skull crawler. Yeah, that's enough cancer for today. The skull crawler is startled, but then he roars and jumps and pounces on Gonchu. Gonchu has tiny little whip arms, so he whips him in the face a couple of times before the skull crawler's like, "Fuck it, I'm done." So the skull crawler grabs him by the leg with his tail and starts starts flinging flinging his ass like a rag doll through the rocks and everything. And Gonchu is like, "Ah!" And yeah, that's it. <laughs> The skull crawler then bites him in the leg and starts dragging him along the water. Gon Q then gets back up and slaps the shit out of the skull crawler. The skull crawler backs down and then roars. When Gon Q messes up with his mind, the skull crawler is disoriented and starts seeing hallucinations. He starts like, Aah! he starts like freaking, he starts like freaking seeing it starts like getting disoriented, it starts jumping around and everything. And Don Q then does his telekinesis attack and starts picking his ass up and throwing him down. <laughs> the skull crawler is like, then stops getting, you know, you know, like getting controlled in the mind and then he shoots his tongue at him. <laughs> 
but Gaikyu absorbs it. And the skull crawler is panicking because he can't get his tongue out, so he's just like trying to move away. Gonku hurls him back away, and the skull crawler slashes him in the eye. Gonku lets go of his tongue and starts like reaving in pain. The skull crawler starts roaring and biting the waist of Gonku, but Gonku slashes the shit out of him even more, and then picks up the skull crawler and pile drives him through the freaking rocks. <sighs> Gonku starts kicking and stomping on the skull crawler's neck. Yeah. Yeah, and this and this is pretty much it. Oh okay. yeah. The the skull crawler starts struggling and everything, and then tail whips the Gonku and it makes Gonku trip. The skull crawler starts biting even more and clawing his eye even more. But that's when Gonku gets pissed and starts doing his dream invasion attack. And then the fucks up the skull crawler's mind again. But this time Gonku constricts and bear hugs the skull crawler's neck. The skull crawler is too distracted by the hallucinations to know what's going on. Gonku starts constricting and choking the skull crawler, and the skull crawler gets the life choked out of him. Gonku throws down the lifeless body of the skull crawler, and yeah, that's it. Verdict. In the fight between Gonku and the skull crawler, Gonku wins most of the time. He can just manipulate the skull crawler's mind and then just constrict it or beat it to death. But the skull crawler could win by aiming for the eyes a lot since, you know, it's a big fucking target. <laughs> But, yeah, who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Also, the God Q is the one on the on the left. No, on the right. This is God Q, and this is the Skullcrawler.